Exercise 20. Heineken reports the following information for its loans and borrowings as of December 31, 2008, including proceeds and repayments for the year ended December 31, 2008, in millions of euros. We're asked to prepare Heineken's journal entry to record its cash proceeds from issuances of its loans and borrowings for 2008. Assume the par value of these issuances is 6 billion euros. The total amount of cash received is 6,368,000,000 euros. The journal entry is a debit to cash, 6,368,000,000 euros. Credit loans and borrowings for the par value, 6 billion. And premium on loans and borrowings, 368,000,000. Loans and borrowings is synonymous with bonds payable. It holds the par value. And premium on loans and borrowings is synonymous with premium on bonds payable. Requirement 2. Prepare Heineken's journal entry to record its cash repayments of its loans and borrowings for 2008. Assume that the par value of these issuances is 2,400,000,000 and the premium on them is 46,000,000. The total amount paid in cash on the loans and borrowings is 2,539,000,000 euros. The credit to cash is 2,539,000,000. This retired debt equal to the par value, loans and borrowing, 2.4 billion, the premium, 46 million, and since the carrying value of this debt is 2,446 million, but the amount paid to retire the debt is 2,539 million, there's a loss on the loans and borrowing retirement equal to 93 million. Requirement 3, we're asked to compute the discounted premium on its loans and borrowings as of December 31, 2008, assuming the par value of these liabilities is $9 billion. Since the carrying value is $9 billion and the par value is $9 billion, the premium is $91 million. Requirement 4, given the facts in Part 3, in viewing the entirety of loans and borrowings as one issuance, was the contract rate on these loans and borrowings higher or lower than the market rate at the date of issuance. When debt is issued at a premium, it's because the contract rate is higher than the market rate. There's an inverse relationship between the market rate and the selling price of the bond.